Hey there YouTube world, my name is Matt Schwartz and I'm the Welding Geek. And on this episode of the Welding Geek, I'm going to be making these right here. Boba Fett's knee armor. So, let's roll the video. Alright, first thing we're going to do is get our templates cut out of our sheet here and then get them glued down with some spray adhesive onto our aluminum sheet. And then I'll make my way over to the, the shear and we'll get them all sheared out. Here at the shear what I'm doing is shearing out the, the blanks, just getting the pieces relieved out of the big sheet. And then I'll also shear all my straight lines. Alright, I got my handy center punch here. I'm going to go and center punch out all my holes. Um, so I can use my turret punch here to punch out all the holes and get that ready. So we can head on over to the bandsaw and cut out and relieve the rest of the parts out of the little sheets here. Now that I have my pieces all cut out, I'm gonna make my way over to the workbench and I'm gonna go ahead and grind all the edges smooth and deeper all my parts. This is where the fun begins. I'm gonna go ahead and start bending up my parts. I actually used the brake to actually bend that because I couldn't do it with the little flapper tool there. <laughs> and I'm just using a dolly and bending these by hand right now. And then I'm gonna make my way over with the main piece of the knee into my slip roller. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a slight curve in this. On to the planishing hammer. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, planish this so I can get a, a dome in it, like a, that recurve, to make it look like a nice, so it's not just a flat curve around, that it actually has a complex curve to it. Um, so yeah, just gonna planish this out. Now I'm gonna use this larger dolly and uh, finish out the shaping of the knee on it. I'm going to use my mallet here to kind of get all the edges to roll where they need to go. Now I'm going to roll a radius on all the edges to make it give it more depth I guess. Um, it's going to roll the edges over. Uh, eventually I'm going to put a foam backer on this but this will make it look nice and kind of smoothed over as you can see here. This little piece here is an extension to the knee pad. Um, there's like a, a drop angle that would be really hard to do in one piece. So I made a little extension to get it to look the way that I want to. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this piece over to that same radius tool and just roll the front edge with the radius. And then I'll make my way over to the welding bench and I will weld this on. Now that I have my extension tacked on, I got these two little pieces that are the, the other side of the knee pad. You'll see what these are here in a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and get these all tacked together. 
and get them tacked to the main part of the knee. Alright, we're starting to take shape now. The next up will be tacking together uh, the dart boxes on the side here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this first piece tacked on and then the filler plates. So let's watch me do that. First I need to form this little piece, filler piece for the dart box here and I'm just bending it over a dolly. And it's kind of a weird swept curve shape um, so yeah I just had to kind of work it until it fit to where it needed to fit. Got our last little patch panel here to fit in the, the, the complete the dart box. I'm gonna go ahead and tack that into place. These little parts they don't fit perfectly, but it's good enough for me to be able to weld it. All right, now that I have all my pieces tacked on, I'm gonna go ahead and weld this. 100% so let's get welding all right so when I'm welding this I'm gonna actually weld especially on this first weld both the top side and the bottom side and the reason is is I'm gonna be dressing off the front side um, and I don't want it to crack and break so I'm kind of working away around my edges here and I'm just going to weld it up 100% and then we will dress it all down and make it look smooth and pretty. All right, we got all the welds down. Now that we spent all that time welding it, now we gotta spend all the time to dress it down to make it look nice. Metal finishing can be a long, tedious process. It takes a lot of time and whatnot because you have to step down from a coarser grit to a finer grit. Um, and it just takes a lot of time because you're grinding away metal. Um, aluminum is a little easier than steel or titanium. Um, it grinds away fairly easily. Um, so I'm just going to work through all my, my different grits, 80 grit, scotch Bright. I'm using all my different tools here to dress and to make it look like it's uh, like a a molded piece or you know what I mean just smooth out all the welds to make it look like it's all nice and smooth and fancy all right done metal finishing and I'm really happy with how this came out looks great Now it's time to put the damage in. I got my damage all marked out here in Sharpie and like last time with the armor, 
I'm gonna use a series of different punches and tools and whatever I could find around to make the right look and dents and dings. Now I'm gonna make the actual knee dart little casings here. Um, got some chunks of three quarter solid and I'm just gonna start turning. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this play out. Um, there's a lot of machine in here, but it'll be kind of cool to see these things take shape. So sit back and enjoy. Alright, we got our three finished knee dart thingies. Now we need to work on the little, I don't know what you call it, the tapered little knee dart thing on the one. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and machine that right now. Alright, got it done. I'll get it cut off and we will get these things welded into the knees. Alright, now I'm going to take my calipers and try to lay out kind of where these knee darts are going to hit in my little boxes here. And I'm just going to use my references and scribe some lines. I'll center mark those scribe lines and then drill the holes. All right, I'm really happy with where these holes placements are. I've got the other ones drilled out and I, I'm gonna actually drill some holes in the back of the boxes all the way through and I'm gonna weld them from the back side as you can see here. So I'm gonna drop these things into place, um, tack them and then plug weld them from the back side and that will keep them into place here. Tacks look a little gnarly here, but that's because of the sandblasting, but it'll be all right. I'm gonna go ahead and plug weld the rest of these in here. I'm gonna 
do the other side and then we're gonna make our way over back over to the foam table and we're gonna backfill these uh, knee plates in with foam just to give them the depth that they need to make them look like they're a quarter inch thicker so so I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the foam get it cut out get it glued in and then we'll make our way back over to the workbench and get it smoothed out with our angle head grinder Now that we got the foam back all smoothed out, I'm going to go ahead and dress off the plug welds on the back side of the little knee dart thingies. The last step here will be press fitting in these little PEM studs. So when I mount them to my gaiters, they won't fall off. So I'm just using a PEM stud, um, a little piece of uh, tubing here in my Arbor Press, and I just press these down in. Um, and then that will be it for this build. Alright, that's the knee video. Get some up close and personals with these. Now I modeled these after um, the Return of the Jedi knees. I know they're not exactly like the ones from the Mandalorian show with where the dents are at, but man, <laughs> trying to figure those out. I mean, they changed so much that I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to do my armor like the Return of the Jedi version um, just so it makes more sense more continuity anyway so yeah that's why the dents hopefully those are right i think so from my references get up close pew, pew, pew. the darts pew, 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 pew. backside i got my little pim studs Let's go on this actually will go lower on the I'll mount these to my uh my little shin my little leg gaiters they'll get mounted to those and i'll be painting these as well um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that video another cool build i'm making progress on this build i'm excited about it um i'll get these painted and then the rest of the the armor um there'll be a paint video i actually already have that more or less finished it's not quite done yet um so there'll be a paint video um, actually, after this one, I just unboxed my Hot Toys Baby Yoda and did a comparison between the Sideshow one and the Hot Toys one. I literally just filmed that right before I'm doing this in or outro. <laughs> so you can look forward to that unboxing. Um, that Hot Toys one is amazing. It's, they did a really good job. Um, so you can look forward to that. Um, I've got... I'm working on my helmet right now. Or working on the drawings for the helmet. And then I'll start fabricating the helmet here. Um probably in a couple of weeks when I get everything all finalized and ready to rock and roll. So that will be a video coming up here. Um, they'll be, depending on when some soft parts show up, I might do the soft parts video. I'm excited. Um, a guy named Matt um, from Slovakia, he, he has this little Etsy store, or store on, he's on Instagram and all that stuff called the Fet Armory. And he reached out to me and he's like, hey man, 
can I make you a, a vest? And so yeah, I was like, yes, please. <laughs> so anyway, I'm excited. Um, he's he's hooking me up with a um, what do you say? Like he took all my measurements. I'm going brain dead. Anyway, he's hooking me up with the vest that's gonna fit me in the pants too. So I am super pumped about that. Um, so I'm gonna show those off, and then I'll I'll do a video on actually mounting my plates to that vest. Um, and then I've got a set of gauntlets that I bought from Man of War Studios that I actually have a friend, he's gonna um, finish those up for me. And I, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm still on the fence about making them out of metal, but I, I feel like I'm gonna try to do that. Let's see what, the, um, how everything turns out. And then if I need, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna leave that one on the fence for now. Um, so I'm getting really close to being, to getting Boba Fett Warble helmet. I need my helmet, I need all my soft parts. Anyway, so I'm excited. Um, jetpack, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the jetpack yet. I'm probably gonna make it, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> if you've watched my channel from the start, you know I kinda have been flowing, kinda go <laughs> where I wanna go. So that's kinda my plans right now. We'll see where that goes. Um, I'm thinking about, anyway. I'll leave that all alone. Anyway, um, the templates for these knees along with the armor and eventually the helmet will all be on my Patreon page if you wanna try to make them yourself out of metal or Sintra or rubber or plastic totes or whatever you wanna try. Um, they should transfer over to other media. So um, if you want access to those patterns, you can head over to my Patreon page and that will help me out with my channel. Um, uh, there's also a $10 tier on my Patreon page. Um, if you want to help me some more and then sometimes I give away some cool stuff to that tier. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm, I've been loving this build. Um, I'm really thrilled on how these knees came out. I was actually pretty worried about um, just there's so much. It looks like a simple part, but there's so much nuance in here and sh weird corners and stuff like that. Um, so I'm really happy with how they came out and I can't wait to get them painted because they'll look even better when I get them painted. Um, and so I'm really happy with my armor. Now the hard part's gonna be the helmet. And so anyway, yep, you can be looking forward to those. Thanks for watching my channel, guys. If you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel. If you like to subscribe or don't, whatever you, it would help me, but if you don't want to, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, my name's Matt Schwartz. I'm the Welding Geek. Thanks for watching, guys.